Imagine standing before the last remaining ancient wonder of the world. Massive stone blocks towering above you, perfectly constructed thousands of years ago without any modern machinery. This is just one of the breathtaking sights that await you in the land of the pharaohs, Egypt. Egypt is a country that has captured the imagination of travelers and historians for centuries. From the enigmatic Sphinx to the legendary pyramids, the ancient Egyptians left behind a wealth of archaeological treasures that continue to astound us today. This vast desert land cradled one of the earliest human civilizations, which flourished along the life-giving Nile River. The Egyptians were pioneers in everything from agriculture to art, their advancement shaping the foundations of our modern world. On this adventure, we'll be unveiling the top 10 attractions that make Egypt a bucket list destination for anyone fascinated by history, culture, and wondrous human achievements. Get ready to be transported back in time as we uncover the stories behind these mesmerizing sites. Whether you're an intrepid explorer or an armchair traveler, this comprehensive guide will leave you in awe of the ancient Egyptian legacy. But be warned, after witnessing these marvels, you may just get the itch to book a flight and experience them with your own eyes. So don your khakis, strap on those walking shoes, and let's embark on an epic journey through the amazing land of the pharaohs. Kicking off our countdown at number 10 is the jaw-dropping Karnak Temple Complex in Luxor. Prepare to have your breath stolen away by the sheer scale and grandeur of this ancient sacred site. Karnak was the crown jewel of the New Kingdom capital of Thebes, the preeminent religious center dedicated to the worship of the iconic sun god Amun-Ra. Construction began around 2000 BCE and continued over a span of 1500 years as successive pharaohs left their mark. As you approach the complex's main entrance, you'll be greeted by an avenue of muscle-bound sphinx statues with ram's heads, an homage to Amun. The Avenue of Sphinxes originally extended for over a mile as a majestic pathway for ceremonial processions. But the real showstopper is the iconic Great Hypostyle Wall. Imagine walking among a forest of 134 gigantic columns, each one intricately carved and soaring an astonishing 80 feet into the air. This architectural wonder could easily host the Cathedral of Notre Dame. As your eyes trace the hieroglyphs and paintings adorning the pillars, you'll be transported to a time when the hall was a sacred ceremonial space where sunlight streamed through during religious rituals. It's no wonder the Hypostyle Hall is considered one of the greatest masterpieces of ancient Egyptian architecture. Yet Karnak's splendors are far from over. You'll also encounter the sacred lake where priests were purified, and the imposing statue of the falcon-headed god Montu. Be sure to look for the botanist's dream, a carving depicting the rare Egyptian plant life that once thrived here. With its colossal size and remarkable preservation, Karnak stands as a testament to the incredible ambition and devotion of the ancient Egyptians and its rulers. After witnessing this breathtaking complex in person, you'll understand why it had to make our top 10 list. Number 9. Abydos. At number 9, we journey to one of the most paramount archaeological sites in all of Egypt, the ancient cult center of Abydos. This hallowed ground was a pivotal place of Egyptian worship for millennia, revered as the burial site of the god Osiris. As the myth goes, Osiris was the first divine pharaoh of Egypt who was killed by his envious brother Set. Osiris' wife Isis gathered the dismembered pieces of his body breathing life back into him to conceive their son Horus. Thus began the famous battle between Horus and Set that formed the basis of Egyptian kingship ideology. The pilgrimage destination of Abydos is where tradition held that Osiris's head was buried, making it one of Egypt's most sacred temples of the dead. Let's delve into the site's wondrous relics that have immortalized its mythological significance. Your first stop is the magnificent Memorial Temple of Seti I. 
This monumental sandstone complex contains exquisitely carved reliefs like no hieroglyphs you've ever witnessed. The craftsmanship is so precise and refined, it looks like the carvings were etched just yesterday. Within these stunningly preserved chambers, you'll find the famous Abydos King List, carved illustrations of the first pharaonic lineage according to ancient sources. This incredible inscription has proved invaluable for reconstructing Egypt's earliest dynastic history. Then there's the mythical Osarion, a mystical underground complex that has sparked endless debate and conspiracy theories. Some believe it was the actual tomb of Osiris, while others speculate it was an esoteric initiation center. The enigmatic symbolism and the incredible preservation of this subterranean temple will leave you spellbound. But for many visitors, the culminating experience is walking the sacred pathway to the Umm el Kab region, a royal necropolis where the very first pharaohs of Egypt's dynasty were laid to rest under small, modest tomb mounds. Standing beneath these monumental burials will fill you with reverence for the antiquity and humble beginnings of Egyptian civilization. Speaking of ancient burials, have you ever wondered what it'd be like to come face to face with an actual mummy? Well, if marveling at the tombs of Abydos intrigued your inner archaeologist, just wait until you see what's coming up next. Imagine cracking open a sarcophagus for the first time in thousands of years, meticulously unwrapping layer after layer of linen to reveal the haunting visage of a pharaoh who ruled over this ancient land eons ago. That experience would be utterly spine-tingling. For our number 8 pick, we're taking you inside the phenomenal treasure trove that is the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. This epic museum houses over 120,000 ancient artifacts, the largest collection of Egyptian antiquities in the entire world. Upon arriving, you'll be instantly struck by the museum's neoclassical architecture with its towering pink colossus statues flanking the entrance. These massive carved guardians offer just a preview of the splendors waiting within. As you step through the bronze doors, you'll find yourself surrounded by an endless array of priceless Egyptian relics from the prehistoric era all the way up to the Greco-Roman period. It's quite literally an open-air museum all under one roof. Your jaws will drop as you lay eyes on the museum's crown jewel treasures. Like the dazzling cap crown of the 18th century dynasty pharaoh Amenemhat III, fashioned from solid gold and studded with semi-precious stones. Or the ornate gold mask of Tutankhamun's grandmother that radiates with ethereal beauty. For many visitors, though, it's the museum's spectacular mummy room that leaves the most haunting impression. Here, you'll come face to face with the shriveled yet serene figures of legendary pharaohs like Ramses II and Hatshepsut. To gaze upon these ancient rulers up close is a humbling and utterly mystifying experience. But if there's one item from the museum's collection that has truly captured the world's imagination, it's the unparalleled treasures from the tomb of King Tut. When Howard Carter first discovered Tutankhamun's intact tomb in 1922, the glittering trove inside rewrote our understanding of Egypt's golden age. From ornate golden shrines and chariots, to board games and bottles of still unbroached wine and food, each artifact offers an unparalleled glimpse into the lavish daily life of an Egyptian pharaoh. And who could forget Tut's haunting funerary mask, with its serene expression and exquisite lapis lazuli beard? This priceless treasure is one every world traveler must behold at least once in their lifetime. With more wonders packed into every gallery than you could ever imagine, the Egyptian Museum is a treasure trove that will leave you utterly speechless. From the haunting mummies to Tutankhamun's priceless funerary mask, there's no shortage of jaw-dropping relics to admire. But if artifacts from King Tut's tomb piqued your interest, wait till you see the rest of our list. Claiming the number 7 spot on our countdown is one of Cairo's most iconic and breathtaking architectural masterpieces, the Mosque of Muhammad Ali, sometimes called the Alabaster Mosque. 
this magnificent Ottoman mosque and its soaring spires have stood as the definitive landmark of the Cairo skyline for nearly 200 years. As you approach the mosque home within the grounds of the citadel of Salah ad-Din, you'll first lay eyes on the structure's jaw-dropping Ottoman Baroque facade, with its massive half-domed arcade and intricate pinnacled summit reaching up towards the heavens. The gleaming exterior stonework creates a striking contrast against the clear blue Cairo sky. But it's once you step through the ornate arched gateways into the interior San courtyard where the mosque's full splendor is realized. Your eyes will be immediately drawn upwards to the staggering scale of the lofty ceilings and noble arched colonnades surrounding you on all sides. The courtyard's sheer vastness and perfect proportions create an incredible sense of openness and tranquility. As your gaze traces along the exquisite artistry, you'll be mesmerized by the dazzling decorative patterns meticulously hand-carved into every service. A kaleidoscope of ornate inscriptions, floral motifs, and geometric flourishes, so intricate they seem to almost vibrate with detail. Every inch of the arches, pillars, walls, and domes is covered in this breathtaking artisanry, creating an ornamental wonderland unlike anything you've ever witnessed. The true crown jewel, however, awaits inside the lavish main prayer hall, which contains not one, but two of the world's most magnificent examples of pendant mosque lamps. These colossal brass and crystal chandeliers, intricately shaped like husking palm fronds, are astonishing feats of craftsmanship containing tens of thousands of individual pieces. As sunlight streams in through the overhead domes and arched windows, it catches the multifaceted crystal works at every angle, creating a brilliant shimmering kaleidoscopic effect. The atmosphere is simply mesmerizing the fitting of the mosque's regal interior which spared no expense and is considered the final great culmination of artistic enthusiasm in the Ottoman period. Yet, as lavish and over-the-top as the mosque's decorations are, the complex's awe-inspiring centerpiece is undoubtedly the main dome sanctuary enhanced by soaring semicircular arches and an elevated central marble mirab. This breathtakingly cavernous space reaches up to an apex of nearly 170 feet crowned by the moss iconic leaded domes crusted in brilliant patterns. As you tilt your head back and allow your eyes to be consumed by the arabesque vaulting expanding in every direction, it's impossible not to be utterly dwarfed by the incredible vastness and magnificence enveloping you. The sheer vertical enormity alone would leave you thunderstruck even before you start admiring the ornate arabesques. So, while the Mosque of Muhammad Ali may only date back to the early 19th century, there's no denying his place among the greatest and most awe-inspiring works of Islamic architecture and artistry on the planet. From the towering dome sanctuaries to the lavish interior decorations, it's a sublime paradisical vision that is sure to leave you breathless and humbled. The mosque is a must visit for anyone traveling in Cairo. Our number six spot brings us to one of Egypt's most legendary and consistently astonishing archeological sites, the fabled Valley of the Kings on Nile's west bank near Luxor. This desolate sun-scorched valley served as the necropolis for many of Egypt's most powerful pharaohs and aristocrats during the New Kingdom era from the 16th to 11th centuries BCE. Little remains above ground at first glance besides the arid desert terrain and towering cliffs that provide natural protection against potential tomb raiders. However, it's underground where you'll discover the almost impossible treasures that have cemented the Valley of the Kings as a mythical place of unparalleled discovery. The valley contains over 60 identified rock-cut tombs where Egypt's rulers were laid to rest surrounded by their most prized possessions to accompany them into the afterlife. Each tomb is uniquely carved deep into the bedrock cliffs in an intentionally hidden and hard-to-access location. 
The most famous of these tombs is, of course, the final resting place of the boy King Tutankhamun, whose treasures ignited a serious case of Tut mania when they were rediscovered in 1922. King Tut's tomb, while smaller and more modest, remains one of the most popular attractions thanks to its incredibly detailed wall paintings and lavish burial goods. It was here where Howard Carter first glimpsed wonderful things through the tiny opening when he discovered it almost untouched after over 3,000 years being sealed. But many consider the tomb of the mighty pharaoh Seti I to be the valley's real jewel. A descent into this sprawling underground holy place reveals a 300-foot passage system more reminiscent of an ancient cathedral than a tomb. You'll be slack-jawed at the incredibly vivid and ornate carvings depicting religious scenes from the Book of Gates, with colors more brilliant than the day they were painted. Another certified showstopper is the tomb of Ramses VI, which extends over 300 feet into the mountain and boasts the most extensive decorations in the entire valley. It's said that if you were to join all the 5,000 square feet of artwork in this single tomb end to end, it would stretch for over half a mile. The incredible preservation of the intricate carvings and colors is utterly breathtaking. You'll also want to keep an eye out for the hieroglyphic graffiti left behind by ancient Greek and Roman tourists who made the same pilgrimage to admire these iconic tombs in antiquity. The fact that people were coming from across the Mediterranean to see these very same tombs thousands of years ago is a testament to just how mind-blowing these burial complexes were, even back then. And of course, no trip to the Valley of Kings would be complete without experiencing at least one of the awe-inspiring tombs that still remain largely unexplored and untouched, such as KV-5's beautifully painted Pillar Chamber. Stepping into one of these undisturbed tombs, where every inch is as pristine as the day the workers put down their tools, is a truly humbling and transportive experience like you've never imagined. Just be sure to watch your head as you crouch and navigate the narrow tunnels down to the burial chambers. It's these dark, claustrophobic passages flanked by ancient artwork that make you feel like you're raiding a tomb right alongside the legendary Howard Carter. So if you've ever dreamed of uncovering an intact ancient Egyptian pharaoh's tomb with your own eyes, prepare to get your Indiana Jones fix by venturing into the Valley of the Kings. Just be warned, it may require you to contort your body in some tight spaces along the way. Sliding in at our number 5 spot is the magnificent Luxor Temple, one of the most stunningly preserved ancient sites on the east bank of the Nile River in modern Luxor. Often overshadowed by its grander neighbor Karnak, this sacred precinct is undoubtedly a must-see gem that deserves its own devoted spotlight. Luxor Temple was founded around 1400 BCE during the reign of the great Amenhotep III as a pantheon sanctuary dedicated to the Theban triad of Amun, Mut, and Khonsu. <laughs> but it's the additions by successive rulers like Ramses II and Tutankhamun that transformed the site into the true architectural and artistic treasure we see today. As you arrive, you'll be immediately struck by the dramatic scene of the temple's towering 25-foot gateway carved with colossal statues of Ramses II, so large that his legs alone extend over 10 feet high. Just imagining the sheer manpower and devotion it took to construct and carve these monumental figures is inspiring. Then, as you cross through the iconic Pylon Gateway, the magic unfolds with the Grand Colonnade Courtyard and immense Peristyle Hall, instantly transporting you back in time. The massive columns, intricately carved in ceremonial scenes of battle, rise up in such perfect alignment that it creates mesmerizing optical illusions as you look down each row. One of the real standout highlights of Luxor Temple is the open birth room, where the divine ritual of pharaonic succession was celebrated. This sacred chamber contains beautifully preserved relief carvings, depicting the intricate ceremony and symbolic rebirth of a new king. As you examine the vivid scenes, you can almost envision the priests performing the mythical rites. Yet, perhaps the most awe-inspiring section is the courtyard of Amenhotep III, where rows of towering papyrus columns reach up towards the sky in smooth carved shafts. 
wandering among this stunning grove of stone stems and buds is like being transported to an ancient Egyptian botanical garden frozen in time. The genius architects clearly aim to recreate the sacred papyrus marshes that were the primordial birthplace of life itself. For an extra special experience, time your visit for one of these rare nights when Luxor Temple opens up for an incredible evening sound and light show. As haunting music and choreographed storytelling projects across the ancient stonework and statues, you'll be fully immersed in the sacred rites and spectacles that once unfolded at this very site over 3,500 years ago. And if that's not enough, just wait until you see Luxor Temple's dramatic grand finale. At the rear of the complex stands the immense, intricately carved granite Der El Bari statue of the falcon god Horus looming 28 feet tall. This colossal relic from the reign of Nectanebo I in the 4th century BCE creates the perfect theatrical climax for your visit. There's just something extra special about Luxor Temple compared to Egypt's other ancient sites. Perhaps it's the remarkable state of preservation and completeness that surround you. Or the ingenious architectural harmony that blends grand temples and intimate sacred spaces in one cohesive spiritual experience. Whichever specific element speaks to you the most, after walking the sanctified paths of Luxor Temple, you're sure to be left with a profound appreciation for the architectural vision and reverence of the ancient Egyptians. It's no surprise this eternally alluring sanctuary secured a spot in our top five. And now, the number four spot on our countdown of Egypt's most incredible attractions. Envision a series of temples so mythically engrossing, so stunningly preserved, it's as if the ancient deities themselves stepped out for dinner and the sanctuaries were abandoned mid-ritual with altars and tools still in place. This is the almost dreamlike vision you'll be experiencing when you explore the spellbinding temples of Philae. Located on the island of Agilkia near Aswan, these sacred temples were originally constructed in the 7th century BCE as a cult center honoring the goddess Isis, one of the most powerful deities of ancient Egyptian religion. What makes Philae so unique is just how incredibly intact and vibrantly decorated the complex has remained over thousands of years, almost as if frozen in time. As you embark across the ancient waters surrounding the island temple precinct, passing by Philae's twin unfinished obelisk known as the Unfinished, you'll feel an intoxicating sense of stepping back into the mythical eras of antiquity. This era of mystery and preservation only amplifies with every closer step you take towards the island's eastern entrance known as the Kiosk of Trajan. Once upon the carved stone stairways ascending to the kiosk, you'll be instantly entranced by the intricate scenes covering every single inch of the temple walls in crisp raised relief. These carvings depict sacred themes of processions, ceremonies, donations, and divine offerings in such vivid, realistic detail, it's almost as if the rituals are happening right before your eyes here and now. Yet the true showstopper awaits in the subsequent courtyard of the Kios Haas Temple, dedicated to the veneration of Isis as Mother Goddess of Fertility. Here, surrounded by lush palm trees and colonnades, you'll come face to face with one of antiquity's most breathtaking sights. The entire courtyard structure is constructed from stone blocks so perfectly fitted and polished, you'll think they were cast from liquid metal. The sheer smoothness and seamless precision of every single element at Philae is mesmerizing. Every column, wall, and inscription looks freshly burnished, while the vibrant colors and pristine preservation on the interior hieroglyphs makes them appear newly painted. It truly boggles the mind how the architects and artisans achieve such impossible perfection in construction over 2,000 years ago. And we barely even stepped inside the main temples yet. Brace yourself as you cross the courtyard into the central temple of Isis with its rows of towering columns and soaring colonnades. The sheer brilliance and intricacy on display here is simply breathtaking, covering over 12,000 square feet of wall space with dazzling scenes and texts celebrating the Isis creation myth. From elaborate battle reliefs depicting divine figures slaying serpents, to intimate scenes of ritual worship and hieroglyphs commemorating official policies, every single piece of stonework is a true masterclass 
in artistic detail and figurative storytelling that will leave you awestruck. Just imagine the countless hours of painstaking craftsmanship that went into carving each hieroglyph with an obsessive level of precision impossible to achieve with modern stone masonry. As you pass through the dimly lit halls and shrines draped in mystic shadows and shafts of sunlight, you'll surely feel the presence of the ancient Egyptian gods and spirit energies resonating all around you. Between the haunting atmosphere and otherworldly level of pers- <clears throat> Between the haunting atmosphere and otherworldly level of preservation, it's easy to understand why Philae is universally regarded as one of the crown jewels of Egypt's archaeological treasures. Of course, the story of these temples surviving to the modern age is an epic tale in itself. In the 1960s, as part of the same UNESCO rescue that saved Abu Simbel, Philae's entire island complex had to be painstakingly moved and reconstructed on nearby higher ground to prevent it from being submerged by the Aswan Dam. Over 40,000 pieces were relocated and meticulously reassembled at a cost of over $40 million in an incredible engineering feat. So whether you're drawn in by the ethereal beauty, the mythical air of preservation, the artistic mastery, or the sheer archaeological significance, there is no denying that the temples of Philae more than earned their place on this countdown and could easily be argued as Egypt's single most spellbinding attraction. After witnessing the grandeur of Philae with your own eyes, you're sure to emerge forever mesmerized by the wondrous mysteries and divine magic of ancient Egyptian civilization. So stay tuned, because there's still more larger-than-life wonders to come as we move into the top three. And if you're enjoying this in-depth video so far, be a true explorer and hit that subscribe button to follow us on future epic adventures. We have so much more big travel content in the works for 2024 and beyond. Okay, explorers, splash yourselves some cool water and towel off, because the last three entries on this countdown are sure to blow your mind. Let's get back to our top Egyptian attractions, beginning with number three. At number three, we're taking you on a journey to one of the most sacred sites, not just in Egypt, but the entire world. The legendary Mount Sinai and the ancient St. Catherine's Monastery nestled at its base. For those of Judeo-Christian Islamic faith, Mount Sinai needs no introduction as the revered biblical site where Moses is said to have received the Ten Commandments from God. This formidable 7,497-foot peak in the southern Sinai Peninsula has been a destination for religious pilgrimage and spiritual renewal for thousands of years. The most iconic experience is to embark on this strenuous two to three hour climb to the summit of Mount Sinai under the cloak of night. By setting out around 2 a.m., You'll be able to time your ascent so that you reach the top just before dawn to witness one of the most breathtaking sunrises on Earth. As you navigate the winding trail of ancient stone steps by the light of your headlamp, you'll be surrounded by a haunting silence and starry expanse that lends an undeniably sacred atmosphere to this biblical landscape. The pre-dawn darkness and elevation changes make the climbing difficulty well worth the extraordinary reward waiting at the top. Then. As the first rays of morning light begin to creep over the distant mountains, you'll be treated to a sublime panorama of sun-drenched peaks and valleys unfolding before your very eyes. From this vantage point high above the stark desert floor, it's easy to understand why the Israelites wandered this holy wilderness for 40 years and why Moses was said to have had his divine revelation here. The view alone is enough to instill a profound sense of spirituality and humbling awe before the majesty of nature. But the holiest sight on this sacred mountain isn't at the summit itself, but rather the small Greek Orthodox chapel that marks the traditional spot where God appeared to Moses in the form of the burning bush. Many make this precarious detour on their way up or down to kneel and offer prayers at this consecrated location. For most, however, no pilgrimage to Mount Sinai would be complete without also visiting the fortified St. Catherine's Monastery nestled at the mountain's foot. This Greek Orthodox monastery dates back to the 6th century AD, making it one of the oldest continuously inhabited Christian monasteries in the world. As you approach the towering granite walls, surrounded by lush palm groves, you'll feel as though you've stepped through a portal back to ancient Byzantine times. 
The monastery's church is home to dozens of iconic relics, including the reputed burning bush seen by Moses, a piece of the rock believed to be from the summit where the Ten Commandments were passed down, and one of the world's most extraordinary collections of illuminated manuscripts and ancient codices second only to the Vatican. You'll be mesmerized wandering the serene gardens and stone chapels while learning about the monastery's rich legacy of preserving irreplaceable artworks and scriptures. The library vaults alone contain over 4,500 ancient manuscripts, pages of parchment and bejeweled codices that take you back to the very origins of the biblical texts and Christian faiths. Between climbing the sacred peak of Mount Sinai and immersing yourself in the living history and biblical treasures of St. Catharines, this region offers an unparalleled opportunity to not just see, but experience the many of the holiest sites in religious tradition up close and in person. It's an encounter that's sure to leave you feeling spiritually recharged and humbled by the epic majesty of this ancient hallowed landscape. After that journey into the sacred spiritual heart of Sinai, we now arrive at our epic number two spot, the mind-blowing temples of Abu Simbel. Located in southern Egypt near the Sudanese border, these two rock-cut temples built by Ramses II have utterly astounded visitors since their very first archaeological discovery. Even if you've seen photos before, nothing can prepare you for just how insanely massive, ornate, and precisely engineered these monuments are in person. In fact, they may just make you question how on earth the ancient Egyptians were even capable of such colossal achievements. Let's first take a moment to appreciate the sheer ambition and scale of this temple complex. As you approach, your first breathtaking view is of the temple's entrance guarded by not one, not two, but four towering 65-foot statues of Ramses himself, intricately hewn from the rocky cliffs with musculature, crowns, and features so vividly detailed, they look like actual people. Let those proportions sink in for a moment. The statues are nearly as tall as the White House. It would be unbelievable if they weren't sitting right before your very eyes. Then. As you enter the sun-baked temples themselves carved deep into the mountainside, you're instantly transported into an ornately decorated wonderland of sacred rites and iconography. Every inch of these cavernous stone halls and sanctuaries is covered in breathtaking sunken relief artwork and hieroglyphs, all retaining their bold paint pigments almost as vibrantly as the day they were dyed over 3,000 years ago. Take a moment to actually study the carvings and you'll marvel at just how intricate and sophisticated the craftsmanship is. We're talking about bas-relief details finer than a piece of embroidered silk that painters and artisans painstakingly chiseled into solid granite. And to think, these aren't isolated decorative flourishes but sprawling epic scenes of ceremonial mythology and battle, covering full wall panels in perfect symmetry. The amount of human labor this must have required strains the mind. As your eyes continue roving in awe, they'll land on the centerpiece of each temple, the innermost sanctum guarded by four more colossal seated figures of Ramses deified as powerful gods towering 30 feet high. Gazing up at these massive rock-carved idols in the dramatic lighting is a genuinely breathtaking sight. But as incredible as the opulent temples themselves are, Many consider Abu Simbel's most amazing experience to be the incredible solar phenomenon that occurs just twice a year during the Abu Simbel Sun Festival. On February 22nd and October 22nd, the temples were precisely positioned so that the first rays of sunrise would illuminate only the inner sacred sanctuaries while leaving the surrounding areas in shadow. As the sun's angle gradually shifts, it creates an ethereal light show where six of the seated gods are slowly illuminated in turn, while the last figure of Ta, the god of darkness, remains purposefully cast in shadow. This phenomenon aligns perfectly with Ramses's coronation day and birthday as a living god in a stunning ancient allegory only the engineering geniuses of the day could have achieved. When you consider that Abu Simbel's entire 3,300-ton temples had to be painstakingly relocated in the 1960s to save them from being submerged by Aswan's dam, 
it makes this architectural accomplishment all the more astounding. That wasn't enough mind-blowing ingenuity. The entire 24 meter tall facade in front was actually cut into over a thousand blocks, weighing up to 30 tons each. Moved back 200 meters and reassembled, and it still works. Boggles the mind. All right, folks. After that one-two punch of marbles, I'm sure you're ready for me to finally reveal the crowning jewel, the single most incredible attraction that tops every other in Egypt. Well, hold on to your khakis because you won't believe the unmatched grandeur and mythology surrounding our number one pick. Number one, Pyramids of Giza. There's no surprise here. We've now reached the number one attraction that simply can't be missed on any Egyptian adventure. The one site that needs no introduction, the iconic Pyramids of Giza. As the sole remaining wonder of the ancient world still standing, the three massive pyramids on the outskirts of Cairo have captured humanity's imagination and awe like nothing else before or since. These monumental tombs were erected over 4,500 years ago as eternal resting places for the mighty pharaohs Khufu, Khafre, and Menkari. Yet their perfect geometric form still managed to inspire a sense of profound reverence and mystery. No matter how many photos or movies you've seen, nothing can prepare you for the sheer breathtaking immensity of the Great Pyramids in person. As you arrive at the Giza Plateau, you'll be thunderstruck by the first glimpse of these colossal stone masterworks rising from the desert horizon, sharp towering peaks scraping the sky. It's truly a scene that makes you feel utterly insignificant against the grand scale and majesty of these mega tombs built by mere human hands. Let's start by marveling at the Great Pyramid of Khufu, which has semi-rightfully earned the fame as the most astonishing in size and scale. At its completion, it consisted of over 2 million blocks of stone, weighing in at a staggering 6 million tons. Let that mind-blowing statistic sink in. With the primitive tools of the time, it was taller than the Statue of Liberty and larger than any modern building on the planet for over 3,800 years. As you gaze up along the precisely angled slopes, shooting up to the peak at a lofty 455 feet high, you'll be consumed by just how impeccably symmetrical and smooth each side is despite being covered in pitted scars from centuries of exposure. It said, the original outer casing was so flat that the entire structure side had an error of less than two degrees, an accuracy that precise could not be replicated using modern day surveying tools. No matter how much you may have studied them, nothing can prepare you for the sheer overwhelming size and majesty of the Great Pyramids. As you make your way closer, Craning your neck skyward, you'll be struck by the sheer genius and ambition that went into creating these towering feats of sacred architecture, using only primitive tools and levels of labor unimaginable today. Once you've had your fill gawking at the impeccable geometry of Khufu's Great Pyramid from the outside, prepare for an even more mystifying experience, entering through the narrow descending tunnel to explore the interior chambers and galleries. As you cautiously crouch down and shuffle along the claustrophobic passageways, you can't help but feel transported back thousands of years to when these sacred spaces were first sealed. The thick weight of the massive stone blocks pressing in from all sides creates an almost reverent hush and unearthly tomb-like atmosphere. Finally, after navigating a series of ascending galleries, you'll arrive in awe at the immense stone-lined king's chamber, a perfectly chiseled, precisely aligned space where the pharaoh's sarcophagus once rested undisturbed for over 4,500 years. The sheer feat of incredible precision and geometry this subterranean chamber attains, despite being buried in darkness, is just one of the Great Pyramid's enduring mysteries that continues to stun and defy explanation. While Khufu's pyramid is the largest, the distinctive bent slope on Khafre's structure creates equally alluring photographic perspectives that give the illusion it's taller. And let's not overlook the iconic profile of the Sphinx, standing as an eternal guardian nearby. It's human and lion form sculpted directly from the bedrock with laser precision. For an even more entrancing experience, 
highly recommend visiting Giza at night under their celestial cover of darkness. As the pyramids and sphinx are dramatically illuminated by an ethereal light show and soundscape, the structures take on an entirely transformed spectral appearance befitting of their sacred status as tombs of kings and celestial observatories. You'll swear they almost seem to glow and levitate from the desert as their forms materialize from the inky blackness. Whether marveled at during the brightness of day or the haunting atmosphere of night, the Pyramids of Giza are a bona fide bucket list site that everyone needs to experience at least once in their lives. These tombs have stood as sentinels of Earth's ancient history for so long that just being in their overwhelming presence is enough to leave you in a humble daze of sublime reverence for mankind's boundless ambition and ingenuity. Well, there you have it, explorers. Our definitive ranking of the top 10 most incredible archaeological and historical attractions waiting for you in the eternal land of the pharaohs. From the colossal monuments carved into desert cliffs and bustling urban centers, to the sprawling sacred temple complexes and mythical tombs, we've gone in-depth with the true crown jewels of ancient Egypt that no traveler should miss. Whether it was gawking and awed, unfathomable feats of construction and engineering from the pyramids of Giza to Karnak, or coming face to face with haunting ancient mummies and mind-bending artistic mastery, I hope this exploration has utterly spellbound you by the enduring mysteries of this civilization's golden age. More than anything though, I want you to be inspired to start planning your own adventure, to experience these breathtaking wonders firsthand. There's simply no substitute for the reverent hush you'll feel as you wander the hushed, sacred spaces where pharaohs once walked. To gaze upon the impossibly massive sculptures, temples, and tombs constructed with primitive tools is an unmatched, humbling perspective on just what our ancestors were capable of. So let this countdown be the spark that ignites your inner explorer. Use it as a jumping off point for crafting your own personalized bucket list of must-see Egyptian attractions. While these were our top 10 picks, there are boundless more treasures spanning thousands of years of history awaiting you across this miraculous desert land. <clears throat> as for what's next here on High Fives, we're just getting warmed up exploring the world's most legendary travel destinations. Keep an eye out for our top 5 contemporary attractions in Egypt coming soon. And be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out. But for now, I'll leave you with my parting call to action. Drop a comment. Let me know which of these mind-blowing ancient Egyptian sites sparked your curiosity the most. Where would you transport yourself to if you had a time machine? And what other bucket list destinations would you like to see us cover in an upcoming video? Until next time, this is High Five signing off. Stay curious, chase after history's greatest marvels, and I'll see you at our next unbelievable destination. Mm-hmm. <laughs>